So you want to use a DaVinci Resolve film emulation power grade, but you edit in Premiere or Final Cut. Okay, I understand this video is a solution for you. Something you can do in DaVinci Resolve is you can, let's say we purchase this film unlimited power grade. So first of all, we'll change our footage to Alexa Log C or Area Log C, and then we will pin the node graph here. This gives us the film emulation plugin. Now you're still gonna have to learn how to use this. I've made videos on Film Unlimited, CinePrint 16, and Film Vision, so you can check those out. But let's say that we get a look that we want. We'll just leave it here, honestly. This is, this is pretty good. Maybe we add a little of that, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Now we basically have this dialed in. The only thing we can't include is the grain and the halation, but that's okay because the majority of a film look, I think actually comes in with the colors and the tones. So that's gonna work here. Now, if we right click on this, then we can generate a LUT. And I'm gonna generate a 33 point cube. Now this is gonna give me the opportunity to drop this LUT wherever I want it to be dropped. I'm just gonna name it Film unlimited what? Now what we've done here is we've made very little changes when it comes to exposure or anything like that. We're just simply capturing what this film emulation power grade is doing in DaVinci Resolve, but then we've exported it as a LUT. So now that we're in Premiere, we can go up to this little section here and we can throw ourselves a little creative LUT on here. Now I'm gonna hit browse and I'm gonna go to my downloads and drop this one in. And boom, now we have our film emulation power grade in Premiere Pro. And you could do this with Final Cut as well, but I'm just using Premiere as an example here. We can adjust intensity and we can even, you know, add fade, a little sharp and whatever. We still have access to all the tools that Premiere provides for you, but we're simply able to just bring that LUT into Premiere and we can place it on all of our clips. So now we have this clip here that we haven't graded at all, but because we have our film unlimited LUT that we made, we can drop it in, boom. Now this one's a little bit, a little bit dark and that's okay because we still have all of our tools on the back end. We can increase those shadows a little bit, which I think is helpful and bring the highlights down. Honestly, this is a really sick workflow because for me, I edit a podcast in Premiere Pro because I can use Autopod in Premiere Pro, but I wanna throw a color grade on that podcast and I don't wanna to have to export the podcast after editing with Autopod, export it to DaVinci Resolve to then add uh, whatever grade I want. Now, I can very simply just grab the LUT that I made for said podcast and then put it on the footage and adjust it however I want from there. It's really, really simple. And it'll keep you from having to fully learn DaVinci Resolve. You'll be able to still edit in the programs that you're used to, but bring some of the DaVinci Resolve exclusive features like film emulation power grades or just power grades in general. Export those as a LUT you get the look that you want. Let's say for some reason you don't like the Rec. 709 transform LUT that exists for your camera. Well, let's just build it. So this was shot on the Fuji Film XS20. So we'll go Rec. 2020. I've recently learned that that is the correct color space for F-Log2, so that's sick. Um, and then it, this is the conversion and uh, we could add whatever we want here. We could, we could make it a little cooler if that's kind of our mood. We could lift the shadows, but we could basically create a Rec. 709 transform LUT here. Right click it, generate the LUT, and now we've got our F-Log2 Rec. 709. And, and we could build a, a minor look into that. So if we like our mid-tones or the gamma kind of lifted overall, we can make that happen. If we prefer a little bit of a highlight roll off, we can make that happen. And then you can build it all in to this LUT and create your own LUTs, okay? Now, I will say that as far as I know, this is available with the free version of DaVinci Resolve. Ultimately, it'll come down to the specific power grades that you're using. Will depend on if they'll work in DaVinci Resolve Studio or the free version of DaVinci. I know Film Vision works in the free version of DaVinci as long as you turn off uh, the grain and halation. I think this is a great tool and honestly a great solution if you want to get some of the same film emulation capabilities that exist in DaVinci Resolve but don't really exist for Final Cut or Premiere Pro. So let me know in the comments if there's any other DaVinci Resolve tips and tricks that you'd like to learn. 
Obviously this is more of a how to use DaVinci Resolve if you're not using DaVinci Resolve video, but I'll still be making a ton of videos specifically helping you get better at DaVinci Resolve. So let me know how I can help. See ya.